In linear algebra, a column vector or column matrix is an m times 1 matrix, that is, a matrix consisting of a single column of m elements. Similarly, a row vector or row matrix is a 1 times m matrix, that is, a matrix consisting of a single row of m elements throughout. Boldface is used for the row and column vectors. The transpose of a row vector is a column vector and the transpose of a column vector is a row vector. The set of all row vectors forms a vector space called row space. Similarly, the set of all column vectors forms a vector space called column space. The dimensions of the row and column spaces equals the number of entries in the row or column vector. The column space can be viewed as the dual space to the row space. Since any linear functional on the space of column vectors can be represented uniquely as an inner product with a specific row vector, notation. To simplify writing column vectors in line with other texts, sometimes they are written as row vectors with the transpose operation applied to them. Or some authors also use the convention of writing both column vectors and row vectors as rows but separating row vector elements with commas and column vector elements with semicolons. Operations Matrix multiplication involves the action of multiplying each row vector of one matrix by each column vector of another matrix. The dot products of two vectors A and B is equivalent to the matrix product of the row vector representation of A and the column vector representation of B, which is also equivalent to the matrix product of the row vector representation of B and the column vector representation of A. The matrix product of a column and a row vector gives the dyadic product of two vectors A and B, an example of the more general tensor product. The matrix product of the column vector representation of A and the row vector representation of B gives the components of their dyadic product, which is not equivalent to the matrix product of the column vector representation of B and the row vector representation of A. In this case the two matrices are different, they are transposes of each other. Preferred input vectors for matrix transformations Frequently a row vector presents itself for an operation within n space expressed by an n times n matrix M. Then P is also a row vector and may present to another n times n matrix Q. Conveniently, one can write T equals P Q equals V M Q telling us that the matrix product transformation M Q can take V directly to T. Continuing with row vectors, matrix transformations further reconfiguring n space can be applied to the right of previous outputs. In contrast, when a column vector is transformed to become another column under an n times n matrix action, the operation occurs to the left, leading to the algebraic expression QMV for the composed output from V input. The matrix transformations mount up to the left in this use of a column vector for input to matrix transformation. The natural bias to read left to right as subsequent transformations are applied in linear algebra stands against column vector inputs. Nevertheless, using the transpose operation these differences between inputs of a row or column nature are resolved by an anti-homomorphism between the groups arising on the two sides. The technical construction uses the dual space associated with a vector space to develop the transpose of a linear map, for an instance where this row vector input convention has been used to good effect C rays as many, where on page 106 the convention allows the statement the product mapping saint of U into W is given by Ludwig Silberstein used row vectors for space-time events, he applied Lorentz transformation matrices on the right in his theory of relativity in 1914. In 1963 when McGraw-Hill published Differential Geometry by Heinrich Guggenheimer of the University of Minnesota, he uses the row vector convention in Chapter 5, Introduction to Transformation Groups. When H, S, M, 